Good morning guys, hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you very much for joining me. Today I wanted to touch on an important uh, topic and answer a question. How do we stay positive while the world around us is deteriorating? Um, I think what we have to do is we have to try to be that positive energy, that positive change that we want in society. If each of us start with our, ourselves, this is a reminder for me first, we can definitely see a change within our family, within our communities, within our society, within our city, um, as well as, for example, country and hopefully globally. Um, the smallest thing even we can do is just smiling towards another person could definitely make their days. Um, you know, helping other people, projecting positive energy because we all live in, it'll, you know, live um, a set time. We have to leave this world, but the good that we leave behind is what's going to stay as a memory for uh, other people. So the more good that we do, the more positivity we can pass on that definitely that's going to help uh, the society and hopefully hope more people would get motivated to do good um there's a couple of things that i wanted to uh, share with you guys first of all this uh, video here so describe a moment when you experienced true and pure grace and you knew it i was in indonesia mm -hmm. um i was going through if you wanted to uh, watch it, the link is in the description. It's off of Elizabeth Gilbert's, um, Elizabeth Gilbert's uh, interview with uh, Oprah Winfrey, um, where she asks him, you know, tell me about one of, one of uh, memorable, memorable time that, uh, um, you know, you had during your life that would impact you quite a bit. And she gives an example of um, her when she left um, I guess states because she was going through a lot of uh, difficulties, depression and whatnot, and she wanted to go somewhere away from um, uh, somewhere that basically she could, you know, try to get everything off her mind. Nobody can reach her, and it was a fishing community in Indonesia. Um, so supposedly she was there, and every morning she would go for a walk. Um, and she used to see this uh, lady who used to just smile towards her and, and say hi. Um, one day she was saying she got super sick and she didn't end up um, going out um, and uh, she didn't know anybody there so she was sick she she couldn't get a hold of anybody she couldn't do anything so she stayed in her uh, in her cabin um, and what happened was Palma it's amazing she, the lady who used to see her every morning basically had gone um, cabin to cabin to try to locate her because she didn't see her and once she found her in that state of being sick she brought her food she brought her medication and that was something that stayed with elizabeth um, and you know as you see in the interview she indicates that that was a memorable um, memorable event and that's the face of islam that she sees no matter what happens around the world no matter what the media no matter what anybody says you know for example muslims are this or islam is like that but that's her image of islam and if everybody for example um, lived like that, try to project positive and energy and do good towards other people, more people would see the true um, face of Islam. And the second thing is this video of uh, a um, Korean gentleman. Ashhadu alla ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah. Um, he was actually a singer and he didn't know anything about Islam. He had lots of questions. Why do they, for example, wear the ladies wear hijab? How come they're like that? And he was going up during 9-11. Uh, so supposedly when he went to Indonesia, he met a lot of people that were actually wearing hijab and they were really open with him. They were, uh, you know, talking to him and he found them really normal and good people. Because of that, he found out about Islam. He tried to um, learn more about it and he actually recently converted to Islam. Um, his name is now Dawood Kim and the uh, video of uh, him I have in the description section um, as well which you can watch and that was just basically the interaction that he had with people right he was it was positive and because of that positivity he saw another side of Islam and because of that he basically came to or reverted to Islam so that's what I wanted to share with you guys today is that you know we should all try and project positive energy and try to do positive It'll definitely have a, an impact on people around us um, so if you like this video please share it with your family and friends if you want to see more videos like this 
put it, please put it in the comment section uh, uh, below. And if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, it just takes a couple of seconds. I truly appreciate you guys' support. So thank you very much and we'll see you in the next one.